Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Despite being told he's too tall to be a pilot, this week's veteran managed to find a way to fly in the Marine Corps anyway. Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer share the story of how he made it happen. Towering at six foot six, Don Halbauer was too tall to be a pilot in the Marine Corps. Back then, the limit was six foot three. But that wouldn't stop the Anthony Kansas man from flying. Before signing up for the Marines in 1952, he had worked for Boeing right out of high school. Sure enough, he would soon get his chance to take to the skies. I still wanted to fly. And they said, uh, are you interested in electronics? Well, I had already worked for Boeing aircraft in electrical hookups. My recruiter told me I could you know, do everything possible so I could fly. And that came true. At the Naval Air Technical Training Center near Memphis, Tennessee, Don Halbauer would be trained in radio, radar, and other electronics. And there was no height restriction. To, so they assigned me to uh, uh, VMFN 531, a night fighter outfit. The night fighter outfit, a Marine fighter attack squadron stationed in Cherry Point, North Carolina, known by its nickname, the Gray Ghosts. We were probably the, the uh, pace setter in uh, night fighter uh, operations. His plane, the Douglas F3D Sky Knight. Very sophisticated aircraft at that time. Just before I joined that squadron, it, it uh, was active in Korea and was credited for the first night kill of a Russian fighter plane, uh, strictly by use of radar. The radio operator working with his pilot to practice tracking targets. When we locate a target, I would transfer the signal over. The pilot in front of him had what they call a heads-up display on his windshield. Mm -hmm. One dot represented our plane and the other dot represented the target that I sent over to him. He would line up those two dots and we had the uh, ordinance so that if we were within range, it fired automatically. But being six radio. foot six did uh, present its own yeah. challenges in the rather yeah, cramped radio plane. Radio. I thought it was kind of ironic. I had three radar sets in front of me. Mm -hmm. The pilot had nothing but a joystick in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> I had to operate my lower controls mm -hmm. under my leg. Really? Yeah. Why under your leg? Because I had long legs. <laughs> Ultimately, Halbauer would not deploy overseas, instead taking advantage of the GI Bill to further his career goals. His short stint in the Marines, leaving a lifelong impact. I really enjoyed the Marine Corps. They treated me very well, and it gave me a lot of feeling of discipline, planning. I have a really strong feeling for the Marine Corps. They, they changed my life. The Emporia State grad went on to become a chemistry and physics teacher at Junction City High School. After completing his master's degree, he went into school administration in Point City, Stafford, and Great Bend. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here, ready to honor our Veteran of the Week, and that's Sergeant Don Haubauer, who proudly served our country in the United States Marine Corps. We're honored to present you with a check for $500. Thank you so much for your service. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.